I have been given with the conidial spore suspension of Aspergillus sniger and I have assigned the duty to count the spore load in this spore suspension and we will use the hemocytometer for the spore suspension counting. So first of all, uh, I have taken the uh, improved neobot chamber or simply it is called as hemocytometer. It is basically a glass slide and uh, this slide has uh, two chambers engraved uh, on the surface of that glass slide. So there are two parallel chambers with same area and same volume. So I will use one chamber of those two uh, for the spore counting. So I will use a micropipette. So first of all, I will agitate the spore suspension for the uniform distribution of fungal spores. And I will take or, or, uh, approximately 20 microliter spore suspension in the micropipette. I have this improved neobot chamber on my desk. I will place now a, a cover slip on one of the uh, chambers uh, in which I have to perform the counting. So after placing this uh, cover slip on the chamber, I will insert the uh, sample which is in the tip of my micropipette into that chamber. So one of the precautions which I want to uh, share with you uh, during the uh, sample loading in this hemocytometer chamber is that we must have a uniform layer of the sample in our chamber without air bubbles. Otherwise, it will hinder in the spore counting procedure. So uh, ideally, I should wait uh, for 5 to 10 minutes so that all the spores, all the fungal cells in my sample uh, should settle down in all those chambers. So after waiting the 5 minutes, I will observe the chamber microscopically at 40x. So once I have focused the chamber, I will look for the cornered four boxes. Uh, as you have uh, studied in the theoretical modules of hemocytometer, you know in one chamber of hemocytometer there are nine boxes and all those nine boxes have uh, same area and same volume. So I, uh, for a reference, I have used uh, cornered four boxes uh, for the estimation of conidial spore suspension. So the area of each of uh, the uh, square in, in those four squares is 0 0.1 millimeter cube. The volume uh, that can be suspended in that one square is 0 0.1 microliter. So cornered four boxes in one chamber I will use as a reference for counting those fungal spores. So uh, once I have focused, I will uh, look for those squares one by one and manually I will count all of those uh, fungal spores in each of that chamber. I have focused the hemocytometer chamber at 40x and I have uh, started the counting in each of the box of that chamber. So as I have told, uh, told you that I will use uh, four cornered boxes as my reference uh, boxes for the uh, counting of the fungal spores. So uh, at, one, at uh, 40x in microscopic field, you will see uh, one of the 16 boxes in one cornered square. And uh, one by one you will count the fungal spores in the uh, one of the 16 uh, boxes which we will see in the microscopic field. So manually we will perform the counting procedure and uh, I have completed the counting procedure and I have uh, noted down on my copy the number of fungal spores in all the uh, uh, cornered four boxes. And uh, you know that in a single uh, cornered box there are 16 subscores. So I have counted the uh, spores uh, all in the four cornered boxes. So now some math mathematical points of the hemocytometer chamber. Uh, the cornered four boxes, the volume uh, of the sample that can be loaded in uh, one box at one time, that is 0.1 microliter. So actually what we have done, we have counted the fungal spores in four cornered boxes. So we have used uh, the 0.4 microliter of our sample in the loaded chamber for counting of the fungal spores. So the number of spores that we will report after the counting the reference volume will be 0.4 microliters. Second, uh, we will use a formula and uh, uh, by using that formula, we will count the total number of spores in one microliter of our sample. 
so that formula i i can route, write down on my copy but definitely you will not see it i will recite for you so we will uh, use the formula final number of spores in 1 microliter or 1 millimeter cube of our sample uh, that is equal to average number of spores which we have counted uh, in all of those four boxes four cornered boxes multiply by dilution factor and divide it by the total volume of all these four boxes which we have used for counting so uh, the average number of spores which i have counted uh, in this part of uh, practical examination so that an average number of spore is 120 i will multiply uh, this 120 with dilution factor so actually the sample which we got is not diluted we have 1 ml of sample so here uh, we have undiluted sample used for counting so we will take the dilution factor as 1 Uh, but if uh, you have a 1 ml sample of the spore suspension for counting and if that sample uh, contains a large number of spores uh, that we cannot uh, count in the microscopic observation then we will first dilute the spore suspension and then we will repeat the counting procedure but luckily the spore suspension which i got uh, contains very diluted number of spores so uh, i have uh, used the undiluted sample uh, for spore counting and i have counted the each spore very clearly So in this formula I will take the dilution factor as 1 because I have not diluted my sample. I have used the hemocytometer chamber for counting the conidial load in our spore suspension and I have completed the counting procedure. Uh, so you can see on the hemocytometer chamber there are two numerical values written on the one side of slide so top value is 0.1 mm square and this 0.1 mm square defines the uh, total area of one cornered square and we have nine such squares in one chamber of our hemocytometer uh, square so we can say that the total uh, area of our chamber is 0.9 mm square so but we have placed the you have seen that we have placed the cover slip on our chamber so there is a little depth between the chamber and the cover slip that is 0.1 mm so the total volume of our one cornered square is 0.1 mm cube so we have used the cornered four boxes uh, for the counting of fungal spores and the total volume of those cornered four boxes is 0.4 mm cube or 0.4 microliters The second numerical value that is written just beneath the first one is 0.0025 mm square and that defines the area of one of the 16 small boxes present in each of the cornered four squares. So uh, after these numerical dimensions uh, we have uh, counted uh, the spores in the microscopic field in those chambers so we will use a simple formula and that formula will uh, tell us the number of spores in one microliter of our sample. so that formula is we will uh, take the average number of spores in cornered four boxes which we have used for counting we will multiply that number with dilution factor if we have diluted our sample so luckily the sample which i have uh, taken uh, i have used the sample in in undiluted form and still i have to low spore count that i did not uh, need the uh, sample to dilute it further so i have not diluted the spore suspension in this experiment so we will take the dilution factor in this case 1 so we will uh, multiply the average number of spores counted in uh, four boxes with the dilution factor that is 1 and we will multiply this uh, we will divide this product with the total volume of those four boxes which is 0.4 microliters so after uh, completing the calculation the final load which i have calculated that is 1.2 into 10 is to power 7 spores in 1 ml of the spore suspension which i have taken 
So this is the uh, spore count or spore load in our inoculum, which we will inoculate uh, in the uh, fermentation medium.